Hello and welcome back to our Victoria 2 HFM mod Austrian Empire campaign. As we seek to form the German Confederation, we are gearing up right now for our war against Prussia so that we can officially form that confederation. Just gotta sphere them and we will be good. In fact, I just realized that if we want to assert hegemony, that would require... We can't do that in the same war as um, our war with Prussia. We have to do that afterwards, most likely. But we can weaken them as much as possible, and perhaps we can spear them later on. So it might be like till 1860s before we actually form the German Confederation. I'm not sure what unit we just lost there. Russia, go ahead. And... Alright, looks like France is also at war with them, so let me give them military access. And they can duke it out. Right, let's ban Prussia here. That works out. Let's send this army somewhere of force limit. How about over here? How about cacao? That'll work out. So canned food is currently an issue, apparently. It's the only good we don't have. So we're going to speed this up by buying a ton of canned food. I think that should be enough. Confirm trade. I think... If I just confirm that, then I'll go through. All right, we'll just automate it. Doesn't matter. Sometimes that works. For some reason, it's not working right now. Could be because there's not really much of canned food to go around. All right, one, two, three. Oh, that's a lot of infantry. Let's take two of those out. Send this army here. Looks like we did lose an artillery piece. the Crimean War. Alright, Switzerland's going to ally us. That'd be great if we can get them involved in our war against Prussia. We're just going to start up very soon here. I would like to get more armies put together but canned food is apparently in very short supply. Let's subsidize this factory. Actually, that won't do much in the first place, because... Oh, Jackman Rebels. Wonderful.
let's put on Hunt Rebels for that army. Send them back to Krems. Sixty-seven. So we want to preferably pass the reform. Because that's an issue right there. Alright. We are not going to do this because we are going to form the German Confederation. But first, got to go to war with Prussia, which we're sure we have. Yep, a certain hegemony. We can't really do much else because that's 98 war score just to do that. They have 62 units. How many units do we have? 70. And we can, let's do this one actually. So we do have a lot of rebels. We will take care of that. Inspired nationalists. Let's turn that off. Valley of the Kings we can go and do. Yeah, because there's so many wars going on right now, we can't get the supplies. We need to build up another army. That can serve as um, troops to help out with uh, reinforcements at the very least. And that's what happens when you leave your focus. Let's ban pressure from Saxony. Denmark, we need to focus a little bit more on as well. Besides that, we need to take back Hesica Cell. Which are allied with us anyways. Once we're done taking care of these rebel groups down here. Um, in fact, we can actually start mobilizing right now just to prepare ourselves. Let's start mobilizing. And we just stroll or just go right in there. That's our plus three attack. And that's plain, so we can probably take that pretty easily. So Vok Nashes have just risen. That's a pain. And now I'm pretty worried about the Hungarian nationalists. If there's anything we can do about that. In fact, if we put the conservatives in power, because every um, 
point of militancy that we have up, it does contribute to them voting for one of these resolutions. which in this case, 46.08% of the upper house will vote for it. So if we get one more militancy, that can help us pass reform. What is this? Dictionary. Drop to cordial. Saxony can stop influencing Denmark. We do want to keep influencing. If we were to declare war, would Hesse Cassel accept? They will. Which everyone will accept, so in the long run, I don't think they're going to be able to get that anyways. Let's just get our armies in order. I think that should be good, to be honest. I just don't want to deal with it when the Osh Hungarians declared their revolution, but we will jump into this war and let's see what happens. <laughs> Hopefully nothing bad. The Austro-Hungarian Brothers War. Alright, give me one sec, I'll be back. Alright, sorry about that. So it looks like we do have all of... Let's see who denied and who accepts. So Tuscany accepted, Two Sicilies accepted. Forgot about them. Parma, Modena, Wurtemberg, Saxony, Nassau. Holstein refused. Hesse Cassel. Hesse Darmstadt, Bavaria, Baden, Spain refused, Belgium accepted, Sweden accepted, and San Marino um, rejected that. How is the military power versus each other? We are double theirs. That is a really good sign right off the bat. Let's jump straight into here. Let's send some reinforcements over. Actually, let's send them to cut off their escape route. And go over through here. Send this army. Just keep that right there, actually. So we can have these armies act as reinforcements should anything require such. Believe, yes. Alright, so Sweden is fine, Modena. So right now we don't have to worry too much about Prussia doing anything as far as influencing our spearlings. Um, we can actually focus in on some of these other ones that we haven't been able to because of Prussia. It's looking good so far. They're trying to send reinforcements. They actually had a leader of three defense, but we still won that. They're sending some armies over here. We have two defense. Horrible morale, though. That's actually really bad. 
Let's be sent this army in. Just to see what happens first. Let's have... Why that one not... S okay. What is going on? Oh. I think it switched spaces or places. <laughs> Alright, one outbound. Let us jump over to Nessen. This army can actually stay here as this army moves forward. Let's have that one take over that siege. Let's move some of these reinforcement units up. Things are looking pretty good on this front. Yeah, I think we're going to do really good on this war. Switzerland no longer an ally. Form alliance. They will not accept negative relations. That's actually really bad. How do we get so negative? Okay, so we got that. Plus one attack army. They get there on the 5th of May. We can intercept them. Our right, center reinforcements over there. We are going to need it over here as well. Some more reinforcements. Yeah, we're cutting it close over on this battle. Okay. Now they're heading to Obelm, we can take that defensive right there. Looks like Russia's in a civil war with Poland. Alright, we're losing this battle over here. That's not good. Let's send some reinforcements up. Let's send some reinforcements down this way. Polish Uprising. Let's just stay neutral. Russians are doing a really good job on beating us down on some of these fronts. But all of our allies are just swarming to their country, so it's working out in our favor still. Let's do an attack, because obviously defense is not working. That is fine. We can accept peace offers from their spherelings. Hmm. Looks like Ottomans did lose some control over some areas over here. already being t attacked. It's actually... Oh, that was their army. That was my bad for not realizing. I 
Let's hope we'll be fine there. Prussia is sending quite a few armies down this way. Who did that? No idea. Let's ban the UK from Denmark. Most of these should be fine. If we can take out this main army here, that would be wonderful. We'll have to send this army back just so we can recover a lot of its troops. We have this army down here. I don't see anywhere it needs to reinforce desperately. Poland, sure. Let's go over here. All right, let's just take out that's the ones that are going to count tweets. All right, Luxembourg, increase influence. Whole time we can add to our sphere again. Nazi nationalists. Okay, so like I said, we are going to send our units back here to recover. Let's see, this army can actually go over here. that army and all these guys are already piecing out so like most of these armies already recovers wait one more month Alright, let's send all these armies right back in. Fully recovered as well. Well, not fully, but as much as you can expect. And this one, let's actually just send it down here and take care of some of these rebels. Speech in Parliament. So if we allow... that she allows the reform which would be helpful but we're at 5.9 not 6 
Probably losing that battle. Right, we took that out. The issue with these units is that they do not have a lot of um, morale right now. So that's the biggest issue. And some of the actually they're gonna win anyways. We allow those units to recover. Oof. Carry for each treat for seven days. We're gonna run a retreat from this battle. Yes, there we go. Oh, was there a war? There is a war. Looks like it will be a while before the US does manage to win back all of its territory, but eventually it will. They're attacking us here. This army has full morale. That's great. Let's see. Could send units there, but our morale is not good at all. Oh, well, looks like we can finally pass a reform. So let's see. Yeah, we have a lot of Hungarians that want to rebel. So we'll do wealth voting, and that should decrease it substantially. Yeah, it's already. Yeah, there we go. Don't have to worry about that for at least another little while. Twenty third of February. We'll get there on the twenty fifth. Which is 107 units. Now they're not decreasing their unit count at all.
Can we get... Oops. Call ally, not till the 31st of August. Because at the moment, we can't get Sweden here. Because they have no way to get here. I'd say let's retreat these units back. Try to recover as much manpower as possible. Might have to let them advance, but in the long run, it'll help us out a lot more. Because this army, look at here, it's 970 troops out of what should be a lot more. So we'll probably have to lay back for a little bit. They might be advancing, but we'll take care of it. Who else is here? It's Bremen. Hmm. His guns are not recovering. We can demobilize and then remobilize. That's one thing we can try doing. Austrian Savoya, honestly. Hmm. I don't want to deal with this right now, or that army right now, so we're going to just let them have it. There you go. Denmark can join this war come August, which is coming up. Add to Sphere. That's looking good. Alright, so we're going to call this episode here. Um, thank you all for watching. And we're in the midst of a war, our war with Prussia. And the war score is in our favor at the moment. Um, the battle itself is not going as smoothly as it was like. But we are making progress. I think we'll definitely win. So thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, just leave a like, leave a comment if you have any suggestions on how I can improve, and subscribe if you'd like to see more.
and I'll see you next time.